Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part four of our VBA XML series. Uh, in this part, we are going to see how to edit data inside our XML file. Okay, so, so far we created the XML file. Let's actually recap some of the stuff. Um, this, the whole code is here and also you can find on Twitter on my channel. Um, anyway, let's keep going. So this was the first part. We created the XML file. In the second part, we added the XML file. Well, actually, this was the second part here. And then um, in third part, we have seen how to read the XML file. Okay, so this time we are going to type in the code manually. I haven't prepped the code yet, but let's just do it um, live coding. So I'm gonna just create a new sub, new macro, and call this um, update XML file. Okay, I'm gonna create a few variables. So dim doc and prod as object and file path as a string okay and if I can type it right of course okay so we have three variables uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this part here it's going to be the same so I don't see any reason to repeat ourselves and let's indent this properly oops okay all right so um, we create our variables we are setting the file path to again the same file this is the file we created in our past two three tutorials um, we say in the doc to the object that we are going to use create object we've been missing this before so it's not something new and then we are loading the file now we are going to select um, what element we want to update uh, let's go over go over back go back to our XML file let's pick an item and my computer is said to be laggy let's say uh, we want to change the banana to a pear okay so we have to select the element the product and the child node and then change it okay so I'm going to say uh, set since this is an object we have to use set prod variable to dot dot um, select single node I'm using all lowercase when I hit enter it will um, correct the capitalization so I'm not worried about that but um, this S and this S should be capitalized normally but again you'll see what I mean select single node open prints open double quotes and forward slash forward slash I'm select product node first I'm going to select product node I'm going to type in product and then open close uh, or square brackets or uh, rectangular brackets in here we're going to pass a condition so the condition we're going to use is going to be the ID so we're going to say if ID is well just ID equals 3 so that's the condition we are going to filter the data and select the single node okay then we're going to close the double codes and close prints Okay, let's make sure we selected the right 
item so I'm gonna just go do debug print uh, prod dot child nodes one child node one should be the name element here child node zero is the ID element and print the text value okay so if we did right we should be able to print the name of the element we selected okay so let's go ahead and run this and there you have it so we select the right element okay now I can comment this out and now I can say and also notice automatically capitalize this s select single node as you can see camel casing all right so if you type correctly it will do the editor will help you out okay um just letting you know all right so let's go ahead and say prod product child nodes one dot text equals pair okay so we're changing the value of the child node one to pair and then obviously we have to save the file so dot dot save fpet okay All right let's run this and see what happens so I comment this line out we don't have to run this again let's go ahead and run this let's see if we get any errors okay no errors let's refresh our file is being slow today hopefully anytime soon spinning there you have it all right perfect so we basically updated our data as we wished okay so that's it for updating XML file I'll see you in the next one all right till next time take it easy